Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. And here is K-7. The story which I bring you now is different from any that have gone before, for it tells how innocent and patriotic citizens have been used by a clever master spy. Perhaps if you have journeyed to Europe in recent months, you were one of his victims. For women and men alike have carried information of the utmost importance without realizing their guilt. For the purpose of my story, I will call this master spy the Baron. As usual, John Holbrook will take up at this point. Thank you, K-7. We take you to the laboratory of Special Agent B-9. Rita Drake, his young assistant, is there waiting for him. Our story begins as B-9 enters. Hello, Rita. B-9, I'd begun to wonder if you were coming. Sorry, I know I'm late. Uh, light that Bunsen burner and boil some water, will you, Rita? I'll tell you what has happened while it's heating. You sound as if you'd found out something. I'll heat the water. I have a letter here which we've got to steam open and examine. What we find in it will decide our course of action. You sound very mysterious. Sit down, Rita. Oh, where shall I begin? You know I've been following a dangerous international spy who calls himself the Baron. Why, yes, B-9, of course. At last, I think I've discovered how the Baron works. He's clever, Rita. He has become a great society favorite. He is also known in the sports and theatrical world. Yes, I know. He's often mentioned in the newspapers. Rita, the Baron has worked out the cleverest stunt I've heard of so far. He discovers who among his circle of friends is sailing for Europe. Then he gives these friends letters of introduction to people on the other side. This is one of his letters we're going to steam open. B-9, I don't understand. Letters of introduction are very common. Yes, but wait. This water is boiling now. Perhaps I can show you what I'm getting at. I will hold the flap of the envelope over the steam. Wait, it's coming. Be careful, don't tear it. It'll be open in a second or two. There. There, that does it. Now we'll look at the letter. Mm -hmm. Just as I expected. Rita, instead of a letter of introduction, this is a complete description of one of this country's latest machine guns. Now you see what I mean. Yes, the Baron uses innocent people to carry his information. Exactly. It's a clever stunt. Fortunately, this letter was given to the wife of a young man I know. She turned it over to me. Then you can make an arrest. Not yet. The Baron is clever. He probably had this letter written by someone who works with him. It's not even in his handwriting. He'd deny everything. No, we've got to catch him with the information on him. And that's not going to be easy. I think it will be. Mrs. Duran, the woman who was to have carried this letter, sails tomorrow morning. You're going to the boat with her. There you'll meet the Baron. Mrs. Duran will introduce you and tell him that you're sailing in four days. She'll arrange for the Baron to give you a letter of introduction. Then we'll have him. (laughs) 
The next morning, Tita attended a gay sailing party. When she arrived at the ship, Mrs. Duran's stateroom was full of flowers. <laughs> and now, my dear Mary, I'm leaving before I get carried across with you. Your husband would never understand that, you know. And best of luck, old girl. Bon voyage. Goodbye, Freddy. Oh, I, I beg your pardon. Uh, Mary, here's another visitor. Rita. Oh, I'm so glad you've got here. Uh, run along, Freddy. All right, dear. He's here. I've talked with Agent B-9. I'll carry it off, so don't worry. I used to be an actress, you know. Everybody, stop talking. I want you all to meet a very special friend of mine, Miss Drake. How do you do? Miss Drake. Thank you. Oh, dear, that was the last call. Baron, come over here. Miss Drake, may I present the Baron? This is indeed a pleasure. And for me, me too, Baron. All ashore, let's go ashore. Oh, dear, their time's up. Baron, I want you to help Rita. She was sailing with me, but she couldn't get reservations on this ship. Oh, that is too bad. She's not sailing until next Monday. Baron, will you give her a letter of introduction like the one you gave me? We won't meet in Europe and... I should be most pleased to go write a letter, Mary. You sail next Monday, Miss Drake? Yes. You'll help me? Of course, of course. As soon as Mary has sailed, we will have lunch together and arrange it. Thank you, Baron. I knew you'd do it for me. Oh, well, there's the final warning. Goodbye, everybody. During the next few days, Rita saw the Baron several times. He was more than willing to give her a letter of introduction similar to the one he'd given Mrs. Duran. B-9 had purchased Rita's ticket and arranged for her to occupy a stateroom, carrying out everything exactly as if she were really sailing. Then he followed the Baron closely, and on the night before sailing time, heard him make an important phone call. Is that you, Snyder? Yes. Listen to me. I must have the letter with the plans for the new tank in my possession by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. The girl is sailing at 10.30. I have promised to bring the letter to the ship. The plans are ready. Meet me in the usual place before you go to the ship. Good. I'll be there. I don't fail. next morning, B-9 followed the Baron into a florist shop. There he heard him order flowers sent to Rita Drake's stateroom. When he paid for them, he received an envelope slipped between the bills of his change. Then he left. A minute later, B-9 blew a police whistle outside the flower shop. Yes, B-9, surround this shop. Seize the men behind the counter and hold them at headquarters until I arrive. Search the place thoroughly. Right. I'm going to the boat. I shall be back within an hour. An hour later, Rita was alone in her stateroom. It was nearly sailing time. Come in. Good morning, my dear Miss... Oh, what's this, Miss Drake? You are alone? Yes. It's quite different from Mary's sailing party, isn't it, Baron? But you know this city isn't my home, and... Oh, Baron, thank you so much for the flowers. Just look at them. I'm glad that I sent them. (laughs) Poor child. Uh, but you will have a good time after the ship sails. Who makes friends so fast on shipboard? And in Europe, my friends will be your friends. Yes, I'm sure they will. Oh, uh, Miss Drake. Uh, yes? I wonder if you would do the Baron a favor. Why, of course, if I can. When you return, one of my friends may want to send me some papers that uh, are important to me. They are important uh, for sentimental reasons, you understand. <laughs> And uh, I would rather they did not go through the censors. 
Would you bring them to me in your handbag? There will be a letter. You want me to bring them into this country? Yes, would you do it? Of course, Baron. All ashore, let's go ashore. Uh, the whistle. I'm afraid I must leave now. Now, Miss Drake, uh, here is your letter of introduction. I'll take that, Baron. What's the meaning of this? Who is this man who has just stepped out of your clothes closet? I'll answer your question. I'm Special Agent B-9. Don't try to move, Baron. I've got you covered. So, this is a trap. Exactly. Stand right where you are. Rita, give me that letter. Here you are, B-9. Keep him covered while I find out what military secrets he was attempting to send out this time. Is it the same? Yes. This letter contains complete information on one of the new tanks. Baron, I place you under arrest as a spy. You'll never get away with it, B-Man. This ship belongs to the country I serve. Neither you or Miss Drake will be allowed to leave before it sails. Look out, B-9. He's throwing a chair. Uh, Goodbye, Mr. Special Agent. Uh, stand where you are. Who are you? Department of Military Intelligence. You see, Baron, I suspected you served the country that owns this steamship line. I took no chances. It might interest you to know that your friend in the flower shop is also under arrest. And so are your friends in Europe, to whom these letters have been addressed. Come along. You are going ashore now, and you are going to stand trial as a spy. All ashore, let's go ashore. That means you, Baron. All ashore, let's go ashore. I have told my story without using the names of any actual persons. However, the man whom I called the Baron was a dangerous spy who worked for war, not for peace. The secrets which he sent out were military, naval, and diplomatic. He is now behind prison bars where he cannot harm the cause of peace. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking. <laughs> 